okay uh, can anyone please respond whether my white screen is visible or not unmute yourself and then respond yes it's visible okay thank you so good afternoon to all of you so if you remember in the last class we have started our discussion with the orthographic projection i have told you what is an orthographic projection and i have told you that there are some views called front view top view those views are projected in some planes those planes are called hp horizontal plane vp and if you remember i have drawn one plane let me draw that plane once again okay can you tell me uh, what is this plane can anyone tell me what is this plane hello x y z plane it is not x y z plane there is a specific name i have told in the last class vertical we will not call it as x y z plane there is a particular name i want that name vertical plane which plane is vertical plane sir the vertical one and that yes. one the last and one you got is the horizontal plane yes very good okay so in the last class i have told you that this is what this is my vertical plane denoted by symbol vp and uh, this is horizontal plane denoted by symbol hp so if any object is placed in first quadrant then what do we call it as what do we call it as if any object is placed in first quadrant then there is a specific name what we call it as we can call that my object is situated above the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane similarly if my object is present in the second quadrant then i will call that my object is placed above the vertical plane behind sorry above the horizontal plane and behind vertical plane similarly if any object is placed in the third quadrant how i will call it as the object is placed below the horizontal plane and behind vp and so on for the fourth quadrant also is it clear either you say like this or you may say that if any object is placed in first quadrant that means i am using which method first angle projection method if any object is placed in third quadrant and if you want to draw the front view top view or side view of that particular object then you will say that you are solving the problem in third angle projection method similarly if any object is placed in second quadrant you will call it as second angle projection method and if any object is placed in fourth quadrant you will call it as fourth angle projection method so i think in the last class we have discussed till this topic if anyone can respond hello hello sir one friend is joining sorry sir satik join ka chesta hoche na pachhe na he is joining late so we will not allow okay you tell me whether it is clear so far whatever we have discussed in the last class hello sir we first angle view second angle view ei rokom bhabe ogulo hoychilo yes so far we have discussed till this much so is it clear to all of you then i will move forward hello yes sir yes sir okay yes so, sir let us now i also told you in the last class that if you want to solve any problem related to orthographic projection you need to keep in mind three points those point are 
first one is your object what is your object second one is the position of the object where it has been placed whether the object is placed in first angle projection or the object is placed in third angle projection or so on and thirdly the plane these three things you should keep in mind while solving any problem related to orthographic projection that is object second one is position of the object and third one is plane so let us assume that my object is cone let us assume that my object is cone and this object is placed in first quadrant that means i want to see what is the top view what is the front view what is the side view of this object in first angle projection method or when this cone is placed above hp in front of bp this is the problem is the problem clear to you hello yes sir yes sir fine so i told you that in order to solve any problem related to orthographic projection what i need i need firstly the object so object i have identified that object is cone second is position position by position i mean where the object is located that also very much clear from the diagram that the object is located in first quadrant that means the object is located above hp in front of vp or you can say that you want to draw the front view top view and side view of this cone in first angle projection method okay next step is what next step is your observer because on the basis of observer because on the basis of viewing the object then you will decide that which one is your front view which one is your top view and which one is your side view so let us assume that this is my observer let us assume that this is my observer and observer is looking at this object in this direction and this direction is nothing but the front direction am i clear so far yes sir again i am yes, repeating sir. my object is what my object is cone i need i am interested in finding out the front view top view and side view that side view can be anything it can be a left hand side view it can be a right hand side view i am interested in drawing those things for this cone fine so for that i have identified the object second is where the object is located it is again very much clear from the diagram that the object is located in first quadrant that means the object is located above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane or in other words i can say that i am solving this problem by first angle projection method next step is if you want to get the front view top view and side view of this particular object first of all you have to locate the observer that means you need to decide that observer is looking to this object in which direction so this is my observer fine and this arrow head this arrow symbol represent that the observer is looking to this object in the front direction that means this particular arrow represents the front direction front side of viewing is it clear to you now if this is the front side of viewing fine definitely the observer will observe some kind of views so if the observer is looking to any object from the front side which view he will get he will get front view top view or side view which view he will get hello which view he will get hello if anyone respond which view he will get sir repeat the question again question is this is your object this is the position of the observer and this arrow symbol represent the direction of viewing 
I am saying that the observer is looking to this cone in front direction. From the front direction, the observer is looking at to this cone. Then, which view of cone he will get? Whether he will get the front view, or he will get the top view, or he will get the side view? Which view he will the get? Front view. The side view. Front, front view. Front how it how how it can be side view? I am looking to any object from the front side. Okay, so how I can see the side view? If I am looking to any object from the side, either from my left hand side or from my right hand side, then only I can see the side view of that object. But I have defined the question. My question is: This is my cone, and this arrow symbol represents the front direction of viewing. That means observer is looking to this cone in the front direction. Then which view he will get? He will get the front view. Is it clear? Hello, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, can you tell me that he will the observer can see the front view of this cone, but in which plane he will see? Whether he will see the front view of this cone in vertical plane or in horizontal plane? In which plane he will see the view? Vertical plane or horizontal plane? It's a vertical plane. Vertical, vertical plane. Vertical plane. Yes, vertical plane. He will see the view. But how he will get the view? If you project this object in vertical plane like this, these lines are called projection lines. These lines are called projection line. If you project the object in front direction, back side, definitely you will get one view. In which plane? In VP. And that view is called front view. So now, can you guess what is the shape of the front view of the cone? Guess the shape of the front view of the cone. Triangle. Yes, it will be a triangle. That means I can look a triangle. Somewhat this kind of triangle I can see. Yes or no? Hello. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, Fine. Sir. So this view, this view is called as front view, denoted by symbol F V, and it is located in which plane? It is located in vertical plane. Similarly, if the observer look to this, or if the observer see this object from the top direction, fine. Then which view he will get? If the same observer yeah. observe this object from the top, top direction, which view he will get? He will get top view. Very good. But in which plane he will get the top view? The horizontal one. Which view? One? Yes. The horizontal plane. I will get the yes. I will get the top view of this object in horizontal plane. For that, what I need to do? I have to project the object like this. i need to project the object like this then i can see the top view of this object and definitely the top view of this object will be a circle am i clear yes sir okay so this is yes, my top view and the shape of the top view is circle and i am getting this top view in hp very good i have also told you in the last class that the intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane is nothing but the reference line xy line yes or no this is the intersection or the dividing line between the horizontal plane and vertical plane yes or no yes fine now the same yes, thing sir. that means this front view which is located in vp this top view which is located in hp you want to draw in your copy in your drawing copy can you draw can you draw this fv and top view in your drawing copy yes or no can you draw yes or no if yes then how you can draw if no then why you cannot draw please respond hello 
Hello. Did you got my question? What I am asking? I am asking that if you want to draw this front view and top view in your drawing copy, is it possible to draw? Yes or no? Uh, no, sir. It is not possible to draw. Why it is because not possible it is to draw? To be plain. Yes, very good. Your drawing copy or your drawing sheet is a two-dimensional sheet. You cannot draw. But if you do some modification in this drawing, whatever drawing I have drawn in this whiteboard, if you do some modification, then you can draw. What is that modification? Okay. Can you see me? Is my video? Can you see me? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay. So no, sir. this is the condition. This is my vertical plane, and this is my horizontal plane. and my object is placed in the first quadrant okay so i am getting my top view over here in my hp which is a circle and i am getting my front view which is triangle in vp fine i need to draw these views in my drawing copy or in my drawing sheet which is a 2d how i can draw it and this is if you see the intersection of this vertical mobile and this horizontal mobile is nothing but my reference line x y line that means this is x this is y fine how i can draw it i can draw it i can draw it if i rotate if i rotate one plane either i can rotate horizontal plane or i can rotate vertical plane if i rotate any one plane then i can easily draw these two views in my drawing copy which is 2d now can you tell me whether i will rotate this horizontal plane or i will rotate this vertical plane which plane i will rotate so that the entire view should come in my 2d drawing copy tell me which plane will i rotate will i rotate this uh, horizontal plane or will i rotate this vertical plane this is the condition horizontal plane horizontal very good i will rotate the horizontal plane but the next question is whether i will rotate my horizontal plane mm, clockwise or i will rotate my horizontal plane anti clockwise and the second question is by how much angle i will rotate my horizontal plane first question is whether i will rotate whether i will rotate uh, anti clockwise or clockwise my horizontal plane and how i how much angle i will rotate tell me so clockwise 90 degree clockwise 90 degree that means like this right if this is if my hand is my horizontal plane yes, i sir. will shift my hand 90 degree like this okay why not 90 degree anti clockwise like this why not 90 degree anti clockwise like this so because two planes will go and the object uh, will not plot one by one if you can say then i can understand so yes. other plot the object other people please uh, mute yourself yes yes satvik so then we cannot plot the object which object you cannot plot don't tell about object in orthographic projection we don't plot object we plot the views of the object okay so which view we cannot plot if i rotate my horizontal plane anti clockwise 90 degree in the top which view. top view i cannot plot very good front i cannot view. plot top view but but front view i cannot plot why front view view i can easily plot this is my vertical plane this is my horizontal plane i am not doing anything with my vertical plane only i am rotating my horizontal plane 90 degree either clockwise or anti clockwise now the thing is that see in your horizontal plane already your top view is present which is a circle in your vertical plane already front view is present which is a triangle if you rotate your horizontal plane by 90 degree anti clockwise what will happen your horizontal plane and vertical plane will overlap as well as your front view and top view will overlap each other in this situation it, it is very difficult 
to identify which one is your top view and which one is your front view yes or no hello yes sir fine so that's why remember if i am solving any problem in first angle projection method in order to draw the different views in a 2d drawing copy i need to rotate my horizontal plane by 90 degree outward if this is the case then this will be the position of the plane yes or no the upper mobile represent vertical plane this lower mobile represent your horizontal plane in this uh, plane in this vertical plane triangle is present which is my front view in this uh, horizontal plane circle is present which is my top view now clearly i can differentiate that yes this is my front view this is my top view this is your uh, vertical plane and this is my horizontal plane yes or no yes sir yes sir so if i depict the things which i have told just now by a diagram how i can depict see that means what i am doing i am rotating this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise if i rotate like this then this is the final position this is my vp and this is my hp and this is your reference line xy line yes or no yes or no yes sir yes sir yes sir that means i can say that this is my vertical plane in vertical plane i am getting front view here i have taken an example of cone but uh, you can take any example you can take any object fine this is my horizontal plane hp and the view which i will get is tv okay and xy is the reference line or the dividing line that divides the vertical plane with the horizontal plane fine so we are done with front view we are done with top view now if i am interested in getting the left hand side view of the cone what will be the left hand side view that means if assume that if this is a cone fine if this is my front direction of viewing i am getting my front view in vp this is my top direction of viewing i am getting my top view in hp then definitely this will be my left hand viewing direction yes or no my pointing finger will be my left hand viewing direction yes or no Yes, yes, sir. This will be my left hand uh, uh, view, uh, le left hand viewing of the cone. So if I look the cone from my left hand side, again I will get one view. That view is known as left hand side view, and that view I will get in one plane. Which plane I will get? Which which plane I will get? I will get in this plane, this particular plane. this particular plane not yes you can call like that but don't call it that we will call it as profile plane pp which is not visible to you practically it is not visible to you but you can assume that the that my front side of my laptop fine if i am sitting like this in front of me laptop is there and if this is my object cone and if my pointing finger is nothing but my left hand side view direction then definitely i will see the left hand side view of this particular cone in which plane in this particular plane and this plane is known as my profile plane pp and you can see from the diagram that all the three planes are at an angle of 90 degree to each other hp is making an angle 90 degree with vp vp is making an angle 90 degree with uh, pp and so on yes or no yes sir that means yes sir you, that means if you want to get the left hand side view of this particular object fine you will get in pp how you will get you need to project you need to project backward that means i need to project in this direction from this in this direction if i project the object then in this pp i will get my left hand side view so can you predict the shape of the left hand side view 
of this particular it object triangle yes it will be a triangle and it will be in this particular plane called profile plane profile. okay yeah. but again i have to depict that uh, left hand side view and that profile plane in my drawing copy which is a 2d fine can i depict at present at present if i see this diagram can i depict that particular left hand side view in my drawing copy yes or no yes sir how if yes how how that this is your we have to rotate we have to rotate the pp yes, right yes, yes. we have to rotate this is my hp okay this is my vertical plane fine this is my vertical plane and if i consider my hand like this this will be my pp yes or no this hand is nothing but my profile plane fine at present i cannot draw because it is a 3d if you you cannot draw your drawing copy is a 2d copy for that you have to rotate your profile plane again there is a two option either you can rotate it inward by 90 degree or you can rotate it outward by 90 degree now tell me in which direction i will rotate whether i will rotate 90 degree my profile plane inward or i will rotate my profile plane 90 degree outward so outward. tell me outward why not inward if i rotate my profile plane 90 degree inward like this then what will happen sir then our pp and vp will be overlapping with yes, each other yes very good very good profile plane will overlap with vp and your left hand side view with will overlap with feb since both are triangle you will not be able to understand that which triangle is which view okay so remember always whenever whenever i am solving any problem in first angle projection method i have to rotate my profile plane 90 degree outward then this is the condition can you see this is the condition so that means if i rotate my profile plane by 90 degree outward like this then then my profile plane will look like this okay this will be my profile plane yes or no yes or no yes sir yes this will be my profile plane so this will be my profile plane and the view which i will get in profile plane is left hand side view denoted by symbol lsv denoted by symbol lsv but if you are looking the same object from the right hand side then the view which you will get is your rsv that is right hand side view so in the problem if it is not mentioned to you that which view you will draw definitely in each and every problem you have to draw three views that is front view top view and third one is your choice if it is not given in the problem it is your wish you can draw either left hand side view or right hand side view but if in the problem it has mentioned that no draw only the left hand side view then you have to draw the left hand side view am i clear any so doubt can you just repeat the last part about the rotation Which? of the pp rotation of pp okay fine this is my horizontal plane okay this is my vertical plane then my profile plane is which one my hand this will be my profile plane because if this is my front direction this is my top direction definitely then this direction will be my left hand side direction and i will get in which plane i will get in this profile plane now there are two options either you can rotate this profile plane 90 degree inward or 90 degree outward why i am doing the rotation because if you won't uh, do the rotation part then it is not possible for you to draw the left hand side view in your drawing copy because it is a 2d copy fine so for that what i am doing i am rotating the plane now in which side i will rotate either i can rotate 90 degree inward or i can rotate 90 degree outward fine so if you rotate your profile plane by 90 degree inward what is happening see your vp is still overlap overlapping with pp your front yeah. view which is present in vp is overlapping with the left hand side view which is present in 
FPP and both the views are triangle. Now, if I will ask you, you tell me which triangle is which view. Can you able to say that yes, this triangle is your left hand side view and that triangle is your front view? You cannot say. Fine. So that's why I will always rotate my profile plane ninety degree outwards. This is a fixed rule. This is a fixed rule. Whenever you are solving any problem in first angle projection method, this is the rule for rotation of plane, rotation of HP, and rotation of PP. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Got it. And now you can draw this particular diagram in your drawing copy. Now, if I make this diagram straight, how it will look? This is my reference line x y. Fine. This is my vertical plane. In vertical plane, I will get my front view. This is my horizontal plane. In horizontal plane, I will get my top view, and this is my uh, profile plane. In profile plane, I will get my left-hand side view. Now, this thing you need to draw in each and every question of assignment number two. Now it is clear. Any doubt so far? Hello. Mister. Okay. Clear, sir. Fine, fine, fine. So let me erase this thing. Yes, wait. Okay. fine so now the same problem the same problem if i solve in third angle projection method can anyone tell me where will be my object or where is the position of the object if i solve the same problem in third angle projection method tell me where the object will be located hello if i solve the same problem by third angle projection method please let me know that where will be the position of the yes the object will be placed in third quadrant so let us place the object let us place the object so this is my object that is cone now for this particular object again i need to draw the front view top view and side view so in order to draw any view first of all you have to fix the direction of viewing that is the front view direction so always remember that the direction of observer is fixed that means always this will be the front view direction of the observer observer is not changing at all observer is not changing at all this direction will be always the front view direction of observer and this particular direction will always be the top view direction of the observer for observing any object now if this is the front view direction or direction of viewing of this object i will get which view i will get front view in which plane i will get in vertical plane i will get but in this case you have to project your object backward you need to project your object backward and then you can see a triangle over here yes or no hello hello yes sir fine but there is a difference see the difference difference is in first angle projection method first observer was coming then the object is coming and then your plane is coming in which you can see the different views of the object but in third angle projection see first observer is coming then what is coming then plane is coming and then your object is coming so if you want to get the or if you want to see the front view 
of this particular object your plane need to be transparent in nature your plane need to be transparent in nature but this condition is not valid for first angle projection method am i clear am i clear yes sir, yes, sir. Fine. this is this is the very basic and the very important difference between first and third angle projection method normally when we ask these things in viva what people say people say is that sir in first angle projection method front view is above the reference line top view is below the reference line fine that is a difference but that is not a basic main difference the main difference is this difference plane will be transparent in nature and firstly the object will come then your plane is coming and then the object is coming in third angle projection method and in first angle projection method first object is coming so sorry first your observer is coming then your object is coming and then the plane is coming in which you can see the object so this is my front view i can write that this is my front view similarly if this represent the direction of top view fine then definitely the top view i will get in hp but in this case i have to project the object backward if i project the object backward in horizontal plane i can see a circle and this circle is nothing but the top view when you are solving any problem in third angle projection method am i clear yes sir now the sir, that means so that means hp is also transparent here yes 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 it has to be transparent both the planes if it is not transparent you won't be able to see okay but that is not the case with first angle projection method am i clear yes sir fine yes sir okay now the same thing we have to do it again we have to draw these views that is front view top view and side view in my 2d drawing copy and if this is my pp for first angle projection method definitely for third angle projection method this will be my pp yes or no profile plane this will be my profile plane yes or no now in this case this is your hp sorry this is your hp and this is your vp then definitely if you see me i myself will be the profile plane yes or no i myself will be the profile plane if i want to get the left hand side view of the object yes or no yes sir yes I sir i myself will be will be the profile plane if i want to get the left hand side view of the object fine okay that means again if i want to draw all the three views in my 2d drawing copy what i need to do i have to rotate my hp and my pp now you tell me first if i talk about hp in which direction i will rotate i will rotate 90 degree clockwise or i will rotate my hp 90 degree anti clockwise tell me 90 degree anti clockwise okay one fellow has told clockwise another fellow has told anti clockwise let us see so this is my condition if you rotate your uh, horizontal plane by 90 degree anti clockwise it it won't happen why it won't happen already front view is present already front view is present over here if you rotate your uh, horizontal plane by 90 degree anti clockwise again overlapping will happen and that overlapping is not allowed i won't be able to visualize which object is which view so when you are solving any problem in third angle projection method always remember that you have to rotate your horizontal plane by 90 degree clockwise then this will be the position yes or no here this is your uh, hp yes, this sir. is your vp in uh, hp you will get your top view which is circle in vp you will get your front view which is triangle yes or no yes sir okay so let us draw these things in my drawing copy so that means this is my xy line 
this is my xy line i know that this is my vp this is my vp and this is my hp so this is your hp this is your vp in hp you are getting your top view which is circle in vp you are getting your front view which is triangle next is i have to decide in which direction i will rotate my profile plane okay this is the condition now now i myself is the profile plane i myself is the profile plane now either you can rotate me 90 degree inward or you can rotate me 90 degree outward now tell me in which direction you will rotate me either you will rotate me in outward yes if you rotate me 90 degree inward what will happen i will i will collide with this vertical plane i will collide please mute yourself if you are not saying anything okay i will collide with my vertical plane and the view which you can see in my plane fine that will also get collide with your front view which is not possible so you have to rotate me by 90 degree outward that means you have to rotate this profile plane by 90 degree outward if this is the case then definitely if this is the case then definitely this will be my profile plane yes or no hello hello yes sir this will be my profile plane yes sir so this is this is my profile plane again i can see that again i know that the side view of this cone will be a triangle and you can draw this triangle over here now this diagram now you can draw in your drawing copy draw that is a 2d so if you see the your second assignment problem number 1 the third problem and the fourth problem you have to solve by first angle projection method whereas only the second problem you need to solve by third angle projection method but if in the problem nothing has been told that which angle projection method you have to follow fine then always remember we will follow the first angle projection method is it clear any doubt any doubt so far no, no sir okay now the last part uh, and i think today it won't be possible for us to explain the problems so that we will explain in the next class the last part of this orthographic projection is if you remember in the last class i have told you that we don't use second and fourth angle projection method to get the views why we don't use see i have not drawn any drawing or i i have not kept the object neither in second angle projection method nor in fourth angle projection method why i have not kept if if you have understood the concept of orthographic projection difference between first angle and third angle projection method i hope you will be in a position to tell me that why i don't use second and fourth angle projection method tell me why we don't use fast 10 minutes are left hello why we don't use second and fourth angle projection method okay let me answer why we don't use second and fourth angle projection method let me erase all these things okay fine so if i say assume that my object is located in second quadrant that means if i am solving or if i want i am interested in getting the front top and side view of this object in second angle projection method what will happen <clears throat> you can get the front view if you project it backward because this is the direction of viewing you can get the front view very easily not a problem but while getting the top view you need to rotate your horizontal plane 
because this is your top view this, this will be your top view you need to rotate your horizontal plane fine and uh, there is a condition that you cannot rotate it anti clockwise because for when the object is in first quadrant in that case you are rotating it uh, clockwise fine and when the object is in uh, third quadrant that too also i am rotating it in clockwise direction but it you cannot do like that that if the object is in second quadrant now you are changing the direction of rotation no direction of rotation of the plane is fixed if throughout if it is rotating in clockwise direction it will rotate clockwise wherever is the position of the object whether it is profile plane or it is horizontal plane if that is the case you have to rotate your horizontal plane by 90 degree in clockwise direction your hp will collide with your vp both the views will collide with each other ultimately you won't be able to understand which plane is there and in that plane which view is present so i don't use second angle projection method same is the case with fourth angle projection method fine if my object cone is placed over here fine and this is the direction of viewing definitely i will get my front view in vp this will be my front view fine but now i can rotate my hp how clockwise 90 degree so if you rotate your hp clockwise 90 degree again your horizontal plane will coincide with your vertical plane that single plane represents horizontal plane vertical plane and the views in that particular plane represents front view also top view also you will not be able to differentiate that this is which view fine so that's why we don't use second and fourth angle projection method always we use either first angle or third angle but in most of the cases we use first angle projection method if in the problem it has been given that use third angle then only you will use it or else you will use the first angle projection method am i clear to all of you any doubt so far yes sir clear okay other people please respond whether any doubt is there or not clear yes sir okay no sir no, no, no. fine fine uh, abhishek sir are you there in the meeting yes so i think we cannot discuss then the first problem no, or we can discuss uh, i think in the next class we should discuss because better we should we will discuss in the next class okay so and remember one more thing see since this subject was a new subject for you so we have solved each and every problem of the first lab assignment from the second lab assignment onwards we will not solve each and every problem we will solve the 50% of the part that means if you see in your second lab assignments total four problems are there out of four problems we will solve only the first and the third problem you have to solve the second and the fourth problem what will happen only the object will change in first problem if the object is cylinder second problem object will be pyramid pentagonal pyramid third case object will be hexagonal pyramid and so on concept is same process of rotating the plane is same process of getting the front view top view and side view everything is same what will change in each and every problem your object will change firstly and second position of the object will change that means either it will be you have to you will be told to get the views in first angle projection method or it it will be told to you that solve the entire problem by third angle projection method but whatever concept that we have discussed so far this concept will be applicable for each and every problem is it clear yes sir okay yes sir. so with this we will end up the today's class over here we will again meet in the next class and in the next class we will try to complete this third assignment then in that entire puja vacation you will get the time to complete this second assignment okay okay sir okay, okay thank sir. you if anyone thank you sir if anyone is still left to give his or her attendance that is manual attendance you may please give in the chat box or else you can leave the meeting and join the 
uh, AutoCAD drawing class. Thank you. Sir, one question. Thank sir. you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait for a minute. Let me stop the recording.